Hello traders and welcome to a new video on Token Analyst. This is a free site, well a freemium site. It's a free site but they have additional premium features if you want to get them. Uh, that provides cryptocurrency inflow outflow. So what this shows is how many cryptocurrencies are entering into exchanges and what exchanges. And this is showing us how many cryptocurrencies are leaving exchanges to go to wallets. This is not something I've ever covered on my channel. I don't think I have. Um, blockchain related. And what I want to do with this video, my goal is by the end of this video, I want to look more into the relationship between these, these coin movements and their effect on price. Some people argue that it really doesn't have much of an effect on price, but if we go back to the bare bones of what this actually means, well, this is showing us how many people can buy and how many people can sell, potential buyers and potential sellers. So if I see that a lot of people are depositing coins on uh, Binance or, or on Coinbase are, are, are transferring Bitcoin from wallets to, to, uh, to, to the exchange. That could be seen as bearish because why else would many cryptocurrencies, especially Bitcoin, be transferred from a hard wallet to a cryptocurrency exchange unless you want to sell them? Or it's not always bearish because it could also be people trying to buy altcoins. Let's say that we see a lot of Bitcoin going into Binance. I mean, that could be... Uh, traders not trying to get into stable coins, but it could just be they're looking to trade Bitcoin for altcoins, which could be potentially bullish for altcoins. How do I see it? Basically, if I look at an exchange like Binance and I see that many people are depositing Bitcoin and Ethereum, to me, that's bearish on Bitcoin and Ethereum and bullish on altcoins. Um, not in tandem, not at the same time, but I think it's probably, it's typically one or the other. And what we're gonna to do today is actually look at the specific data. So not just me talking about what I think, but actually showing data for what actually has happened in the past. This was a Patreon suggested video, heavily suggested as you can see here. And if you're interested in joining my Patreon or getting into our professional day trading group, you can click the link in the description to do so. So what do we see here and how can we use this? Well, first thing that we can look at, I mean, I typically just look at this and, and I'm gonna show one below as well. You can look at this stat as well. This is looking at Bitcoin on-chain volume. So this is looking at how much Bitcoin is leaving or entering into cryptocurrency exchanges, such as here. And same for Ethereum too. So we can see uh, the outflow and, and more, more inflow here. That's, that's a lot of dollars right there, wow, of, of Bitcoin in on-chain volume. And we can also see what has happened to the Bitcoin price versus the Bitcoin transaction count. This is actually pretty pretty interesting. In the last 24 hours, Bitcoin has increased by 5.63%. Transactions have increased by 61%. Um, so this is, you know, uh, I think I wouldn't say that's a bearish sign. For sure not a bearish sign, unless you guys think that's bearish for some reason. All right, now let's go into some of the more helpful, you know, things I like to look at, look at down here. So what do we see here? This is the live feed. I don't really look at this as much, but looking at the significant transactions can be kind of interesting. This is looking at the ERC-20 coins. Uh, some of these are on Binance. And we can also look at is large Ethereum movements. So if I'm interested in saying, oh, there's 1.9 million worth of Ethereum in moved from um, an exchange to a wallet. Well, I can click on that. And it actually takes me exactly to, you know, where, where, that, where that occurred. You can see here. So that's pretty helpful if you ever want to really discover these, if you really want to look deeper into these. But typically, I don't like to look at these. I'm more interested in this here. So let's take a look at what this is. And what you can also do is click on it to see um, in-depth data and also back-tested data. So let's go take a look at that. All right, so starting off with Bitcoin, what do we see? Let's go look at inflow and outflow of each of these exchanges. I think across the board, we see both a lot of inflow and a a lot of outflow, so just a lot of activity with these exchanges, a lot of people depositing and a lot of people um, uh, withdrawing. Now, inflow versus outflow, on BitMEX, I'm actually seeing more coins leaving BitMEX than I'm, oh, it just did it. All right, lovely. We're gonna go into that, but not yet. Um, token analyst, not yet. Uh, let's go to crypto, because that's that makes a lot more sense here. Yeah, so I'm seeing a lot more outflow from BitMEX than inflow. Binance, I see, uh, I don't think that these numbers are correct unless they're not allowing any withdrawals. Yeah, actually, I think that I don't think that Binance is allowing withdrawals for now and that they're not allowing um, uh, deposits either. So that's why those numbers are a little bit off. 
Um, but I think when you watch this in video in a few days, when Binance um, removes the suspension from deposits and withdrawals, that this number will obviously you know be much more higher and significant. But right now we can kind of ignore that because they're those are so low. What do we see on Bitstamp? Because that's another major exchange. I see a large amount of outflow now. Let me translate this not just from me reporting what I'm looking at, but to actually a price prediction. Well, if I see a lot of outflow, a lot of Bitcoin that's leaving the exchange, that's a bullish sign because that's telling me the more Bitcoin that leaves the exchange, the harder it is for them to sell. Because if I transfer 8,716 Bitcoin from an exchange to a wallet, it's in a hard wallet and it's going to stay in that wallet. So that to me is a bullish sign, especially when we see more outflow in Bitcoin than we see inflow. Um, that's 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 quite bullish. I think we can't really neglect Bitfinex. This is insane. In the last 24 hours, we see 41,403 Bitcoin have flowed out of Bitfinex. And, and that's a change of 500%. This is quite a bullish sign um, because that's a lot of Bitcoin that's leaving the exchange. So across the board, if I was to make a prediction, I think that this looks pretty bullish. Um, I don't really see any reason for this to be you know major downtrend. Maybe we get a retracement. But I don't really see any reason for this trend to just, you know, like dump to, to 6K. I mean, <laughs> we'll watch right after this video um, comes out, like prices at like 5,000 something. And like, oh, Bitcoin trading challenge was wrong. He, he knows nothing. Okay, you guys got me. Um, my prediction was wrong, but, but whatever. Okay, a little, little side tangent there. That was fun. But yeah, I'm seeing a lot of outflow. I'm not seeing a lot of inflow. Um, no reason to think that this is quite... No reason to think that this is quite um, bearish. This looks quite bullish to me. As long as we're seeing more outflow than inflow to these exchanges, I think that price should continue to rise. And USD-wise, I mean, 258 million leaving the exchange. Jeez. Let's look at Ethereum quickly before we move on. Um, yeah, I think we do see a similar pattern of more outflow than inflow. Yeah. Uh, wait, what? 30,000 versus 72,000? Oh, that's Kraken. Yeah. Zero F have left Binance. Oh, Lord. Um... This does tell a bit of a different story, uh, but I still would, I do care more about Bitcoin than I do about Ethereum. Um, so I think that this is quite bullish for Bitcoin. If this is bullish for Bitcoin, then Ethereum is likely to rise with Bitcoin anyway. If I look at stable coins, this gets a little bit more complex. Remember, stable coins are really can be interpreted the, as the opposite of Bitcoin. A large increase, you know, uh, a, a large, a large uh, outflow of stable coins I mean, well, if someone wants to put a stable coin in a wallet for, for some reason, I mean, if you want to, or actually, more importantly, a large influx of a lot of people who are depositing stable coins into exchanges, I would see that as bullish for Bitcoin because they're probably going to be selling those stable coins to buy, to buy altcoins or, or, or to, to buy Bitcoin. You know, BTC USD, you have USD, you sell your USD to buy Bitcoin. So we can see, you know, how many people hold it in the last 24 hours and so on. And the stablecoin prices are hilarious. They're just all over the place. I mean, like, this is the $1 mark, and um, USDC d was, was doing well for some time, and then whoop! <laughs> like, th these, I mean, at least they're coming closer to parity at, at 1%, I mean, at, at $1, but, like, this is just, I mean, come on. Come on, stablecoins, you're better than that. S remain stable, please. Not that crazy volatility. All right, I think, have I exhausted this page? Have I talked about this enough? Well, this is interesting too, if you guys want to look at this, um, price and uh, on-chain volume. Yeah, and you can see it down here. But let's let's go to the, the juicier details here because I don't want this video to be 25 minutes again. I want it to actually be 25 minutes. Let's go look at the, uh, let's look at Bifinex. So let's look at the Bifinex data and let's use that to predict price and see some patterns. Yeah, so, I mean, what we talked about before, we see a lot of outflow of, of Bitcoin and not a lot of inflow, which is usually quite bullish. Now, let's go take a look at the inflow, the outflow, and the effect that it has on price. I want you guys to focus here on this point in time because I think this is a really, really important thing that you guys should be looking at. I see a lot of outflow at this point in time, and look what happened to price. Price rose. Um, especially here, what, was, what day was this, guys? Uh, this was the 26th of April. What was going on the 26th of April? Let's go take a look. Uh, I'll use the BitMEX rate anyway. 26th of April, price was here. So this is around when price wasn't really doing much, but as price was just kind of rolling around in the dirt and just not really doing much, I mean, we saw 58,273 Bitcoin, which translates to 
what is that, uh, $304 million worth of Bitcoin leading exchanges. And, and then over the next few days, as price was just flat, there was so much outflow in Bitcoin. You can also see here, this large amount of outflow also led to an increase in price. A uh, large amount of outflow led to an increase in price, and now we still see a large amount of outflow. So I wouldn't, I mean, this tells me that price should continue to rise because cryptocurrency is, uh, Bitcoin is leaving Bitfinex, making it harder for people to sell, making it harder for people to, to depress the price. Um, but yeah, th this this does look like a pretty crystal clear pattern to me, unless you guys see something different. Inflow wise, I mean, I don't really see a lot of inflow into Bitfinex. The most I saw was was here, but it was dwarfed by the, the outflow anyway. Um, yeah, it looks like a lot of a lot of Bitcoin's leaving um, Bitfinex, as you, as you can see here. Does it show anything else or just that? It keeps it simple. Number of senders you can look at as well. Number of transactions, average value, and yeah. Um, but I think that looking at the Bitfinex and also looking at Binance, I think is going to give you some really good patterns. Bitmex is going to be a little bit more complex, guys. Um, because this is futures trading, meaning long, short, when you deposit Bitcoin. People could be depositing their Bitcoin into Bitmex, not just to short, but to go leverage long. So I think reading inflow and outflow with BitMEX is going to be a little bit tougher. I mean, maybe you guys in the comments ha have some way of reading the on-chain for, uh, for the inbound and the outbound. Oh. All right. Well, thank you for that lack of information. 100 Bitcoin at that hash. Okay. Yeah, I mean, here we see a large amount of outflow and a large amount of inflow, but I honestly don't really think that I can use this kind of data for anything more than market volume and market volatility. Because if I see a large amount of inflow into BitMEX, I'm going to expect a large amount of trading. I'm going to expect a large amount of you know volatility. But I mean, I'm not really. Yeah, average average value transactions in USD. Uh, so most people deposit about 0.81 and withdraw about 3.679. Okay. Yeah, but I, I don't really think that I can correlate that to price as well as I can with something like Bitfinex or even Binance. Now let's go take a look at the Binance pattern. I know that they're with with uh, they're being kind of bad about you know that stuff about what's called um, uh, withdrawal in, in, in deposits, but I think this is a pretty clear sign of, of bullishness, guys. So this was um, this was May seventh. We had outflow of 109 million, yeah, 109 million, which was 18,391 Bitcoin. Price rose. I mean, I think that this outflow. Outflow is typically going to be quite bullish. And I mean, if we look at other patterns here, we saw, was this right before? Yeah, I mean, we, we still see we, we still saw a large amount of outflow around here. We did see a good, good amount of inflow as price was dropping a bit. Um, but I think overall, we do see more outflow than inflow with Binance. But I think that Binance can be a little bit trickier than looking at Bitfinex. That is just my two cents. Um, but let's go take a look at Bitstamp, and let's go see uh, the patterns that Bitstamp has had rel relative to price. Okay, that's just a ton of outflow, my lord, and price has just r risen. Yeah. So you may be asking at this point in time, we're at the, th we're at the 13 minute point, how do I really use this information for trading? If I was to give a recommendation, and I know I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm not a finan financial advisor, but it never is a great way to start something. <laughs> Great way to start a lawsuit. Okay. I think that this is good data for medium term and long term trading. You can use this stuff for like short term trading, I guess. But I think that if you want to be a medium term investor in Bitcoin, Ethereum, or one of these ERC20 altcoins, or maybe even play around with stable coins, I think that you can look at this data. You can look at the, the inflow and outflow over time. And if you consistently see a large amount of outflow in Binance and Bitfinex and Bittrex and Bitstamp and all of these exchanges, uh, Bitcoin's leaving. That's pretty bullish. I mean, I, I don't think that there's any other really way around it. If you want to argue in the comments and say that uh, Bitcoin leaving exchanges is bearish for some reason, I mean, if I see a large amount of Bitcoin going into wallets, that's just bullish to me. It shows that people are confident in holding their Bitcoin. But if you see a large amount of inflow of Bitcoin into Binance, Bitfinex, Bittrex, Bitstamp, Poloniex even, I mean, that's that's that can be that can be pretty that can be pretty bearish. Because that's showing that people are moving their Bitcoin from wallets to exchanges to sell their Bitcoin or to buy altcoins. Um, so, and side note, but we can also see that a lot of the altcoins have uh, dipped in price. 
uh, a lot of the altcoins, because they're all really tethered to Bitcoin, a lot of people have been selling altcoins recently to convert to Bitcoin. And then, as you can see, what has exactly been happening, people have been selling their altcoins to convert to Bitcoin and then withdrawing their Bitcoin to their wallets. That's been the pattern of the past few few weeks, even. Uh, and that's maybe why these, these altcoins have really been going down. Currently, I don't have any positions in altcoins right now. I've just been holding Bitcoin, uh, and I've been pretty happy about that. Just looking at the outflow here, I mean... It looks it looks pretty bullish to me still. So, I mean, we'll see if this uptrend continues. No one knows. Um, but to me, this, this looks pretty healthy for for an uptrend. Um, maybe we see retracement or two, but with this on-chain volume, I mean, yeah. If you're curious about what this is, we can close the video out on that. So, real and, and this is pretty cool, a uh, real and change. So, change-related volume is when Bitcoin is in a transaction is sent back to the same address that sent the BTC. So. Look, I, I deposit two Bitcoin into Binance, I trade a bit, and then I withdraw that, that Bitcoin uh, back to that original sending address in my wallet. Uh, so I use a wallet, I send to, to Binance, and then I trade a bit, and then I send that Bitcoin from Binance back to my wallet. That's the change-related volume. And then they have the real volume, which is the leftover after subtracting change uh, and the transaction, the overall transaction volume. So we can see that here. So if we wanna just look at change volume, which is like, uh, which is looking at um, Bitcoin uh, flowing from the same two addresses, the wallet address or the exchange address, or one exchange to another, of course. Um, you can you can see that here. All right, guys, um, that is going to be it for this video. I, I think that we've covered a little bit of looking at the relationship between coin movement, coin inflow and outflow from these cryptocurrency exchanges and looking at uh, the effect that it has on price. Of course, what I said, w what I've said today in today's video, I'm new to this. I, I My expertise, if, if any expertise, is really in trading, not really in blockchain related concepts. So take this with a grain of salt um, and do your own research with this stuff. I, you know, I think that this, art, this, this site is very, very helpful, but um, do your own research and try to find your own patterns. Uh, to me, this looks like a pretty bullish medium term setup for, for Bitcoin, um, but maybe you find something different out of this. With that, uh, that's gonna be it. I hope that this was helpful. I'm gonna share the link of this uh, site in the description below. And if you want me to do any other kind of um, uh, site related videos or more trading related videos, or maybe something a little bit special or price prediction, you can comment below or comment on our Patreon. With that, happy trading. See you guys next time.